Hey guys, it's Slamming Rush. Today we're going to be giving you some tips for increasing your win aid when your team is like winning. So a lot of people are going to find that when you have a blowout win, which happens to basically everyone, that the damage is going to sort of run away from them and they're not going to be getting any damage. So for this video, I'm going to be showing that one of the most important things to trying to increase your W and 8 or your, your damage per game is basically going to be to the front, to be on the front lines. A lot of people think that you have to be like on the red line camping behind your teammates to get damage. But the truth is like if you do that, your teammates are going to get the damage, not you. So what you can see me doing is I'm going tank alley on uh, Himmels with my 907 here. Basically, I'm just going to be shooting at tier 8s. I don't really have any tier 10s that I would expect to lock me down so you can see what I'm doing is I've rushed up to this position I wait for the 32 to repair his track then I track him and you're gonna see from this position right here I can basically shoot these guys for days and I'm just gonna be held down so this is a really strong position it's very aggressive it's very good at getting damage uh, and and basically that's that's just me right now now you're gonna see once the t32 dies I see okay there's still nothing that's gonna prevent me from pushing the e4 was spotted at k5 he's not really doing anything he might be over I'll show you. I'm sort of expecting the E4 to be like in this area maybe because he could like try coming up this road. Um, but at the same time, I'm full HP. I'm okay risking the, like taking the risk that I might get hit by the E4. You can see I'm just pushing into them every single time I reload. I put a shot into someone. There's the Ferdy. He's going to die. And I'm just going to continue pushing through. This is really important because if I was letting my teammates push through, they'd be the ones who you know, who's like farming the tier rates right here. So you can see we're just sort of in the process of brawling. This is basic, in my opinion. But you're going to find a lot of this damage just comes from being aggressive. Like I said earlier, the key to you know gaining win aid is just to be shooting constantly. And generally to do that, you're going to be the one... You, like, you need to be pushing into them to constantly shoot at stuff. So I'm pushing into them. There's a T49 and an STA2. So what I did right here, I actually just want to point it out, is I was getting shot at by two people. I engaged one at a time for the most part. I went over to here. That's going to keep me safe from the STA2. If there was anyone on the hill that, I don't know, we somehow missed, I would be relatively safe as well. Um, and you're going to see that's something like just a tip. If you're in a two verse one situation, you want to try to isolate one tank uh, and, and that'll make everything easier. So right now we're just dealing with the STA2 trying to hit him. And uh, from here, we're just going to sort of continue to shoot. Now you're going to notice the game is one, but I've already done 4k damage. And that's just, like I said, it's sort of like really obvious. If I hadn't been leading the charge, if I'd been, I don't know, back here with the grill or something, I probably wouldn't have done nearly as much damage. You can see just by being aggressive and going to where the enemies were, uh, I was able to get 4k damage for free. Now this is a Batshot 25T who's AFK. I actually don't think this guy's AFK. I think he's a bot, but you're going to see I'm going to get an extra 2k damage for free. We've won, so it's not me like throwing the game farming this AFK. It's just sort of increasing my damage output. Now you can see he suddenly comes alive. He wasn't moving. I tracked him because I'm not used to fighting bots, but I'm like 90% sure this guy's a bot. You can see he doesn't repair it or anything. He's just turning his uh, turret, and then we're going to finish him off with our last APCR cell. So now we're just sort of pushing into the T54 and E4. You're going to notice this is, again, with the aggressive trend. I've got hit points. I'm okay spending them. We are 100% going to win this game. So given that I have 922 HP, I'm totally okay taking the hit from the E4 try to use some cover but for the most part i'm just going to be able to take a hit and use my hit points to get more damage again if i had let my teammates shoot this guy i wouldn't be up at 6.8k damage right now it'd be more like 6k so you can see by being aggressive i was able to farm the afk i went on and farmed the e4 uh, and and pretty much all game it was just being aggressive and shooting stuff and that's really my advice for for like increasing your win eight on raffle stomp games Point of this replay is to demonstrate a real world scenario. It's very, very common for blowout games to happen. And what's also extremely common is for people to sort of not get any damage. There's a fine line with how aggressive you can be, but for the most part, I was just front lines all the time. I was constantly shooting my gun. And the reason I could do that is because I looked at the situation. I said, okay, we're winning the hill. There's not like, there's only tier eights in front of me. I'll just push into them and shoot them. So, you know, when, when you're pushing through like this, you want to take a calculated risk. Um, and you're going to find that if, if you can, the more aggressive you are to an extent, like you don't want to kill yourself, but the more aggressive you are, there's going to be way more damage for you to shoot at. You can see this whole replay was just me shooting stuff and driving into them and then shooting again and driving into them. So, 
Um, and, and then I farmed 2k off an AFK, but you know, that that's sort of lucky, I guess. But uh, regardless, if I hadn't shot the AFK, this still would be like a five, five and a half thousand damage game. So um, I hope this video was helpful. Here's the end plates, 7k damage, two kills, 1100 base XP, 87k credits, 1700 with the premium account. And you can see this game lasted three and a half minutes. So when you've got a very, very quick game like this one, you, you need to make sure you're the front lines and just constantly shooting. You can see I ended up firing like 30 shells. So um, that's that's my tip for improving win eight when you're on blowout games. It's just being on the front lines, making sure your teammates aren't, you know, taking... It, it's, it's a competitive atmosphere, so I'm giving this advice from a competitive standpoint. You don't want to let your teammates get the damage. You want to be the front lines... Um, you don't want to like prevent them from getting damage because that's being an asshole, but it's to your advantage to be leading the charge and taking the hits uh, and and like shooting stuff constantly. And that's what's going to increase your win eight the most when, when your team is winning 15-0. So that's just my advice. Thanks for watching.